guys up everybody welcome to alt not today is gonna be a super chill hang out in the yarn dungeon day of what have I been doing for the past week I don't know if you know but Halloween has come and gone Halloween 2022 which means that our countdown has started over again for Halloween 2023 and there were just a few things that I needed in order to complete my Halloween 2022 season first on that list was Halloween home decor hunting there were a couple of things that I've seen throughout the year that I'm like like, okay, I don't absolutely need you, but if you're here at the end of the year, I'm coming back for you. As well as there were three local yarn shops that I ended up going to, hanging out, meeting some amazing fibery people, and some coffee shops. So yeah, there has been a lot of things and you get all of that today, all in one video, which means if you don't have a tea, coffee, warm beverage of any sort right now, go ahead and grab that, as well as grab yourself a project because we have a lot of things to chit chat about. First up, I'm gonna send you back to me the day after Halloween as we do some Halloween home decor hunting for the last time of 2022 season. Today can either be a super somber day for me or a really really fun day. It's just like you have so much energy for Halloween day leading up to Halloween. You have the entire month of it and then you have a ton of fun and just a lot of things happen on Halloween and then today it's just it's kind of like eerie silence. So because of that, I always make a extra effort to kind of keep the spooky alive. Hence the Coraline wig. We are going to rock that for a while. Honestly, I really, really love it. And I forgot how much I enjoy blue hair. We are going to do some Halloween clearance shopping. I'm not going to go to Spirit because first of all, there isn't really anything that I didn't get this year that I wish that I would have. Second of all, you know how Spirit Halloween clearance goes. It's pretty much probably already gone at this point. Marshalls always has not not a lot, but they definitely do have some coffee mugs and I'm not going to say no to coffee mugs. I think last year I ended up getting coffee mugs for $2 or something like that. Oh, also coffee, probably Starbucks because they had some of the pumpkin spice tea that I didn't try this season. So hopefully they still have that. I also have a Nightmare Before Christmas teapot that I didn't use this season. So we're going to do all of that stuff today and just pretend like it's still Halloween. It's an extension. It's a 48 hour Halloween in the yarn dungeon and out of the yarn dungeon, really. They had a lot more than I was expecting, including these freaking awesome skull bags, and it was two for a dollar. They're really nice to use, especially for yarn too. I mean, like they're giant, so I love these. The most unfortunate part about it is that they actually had Christmas music blasting. It's not surprising. I should be ready for it every year. That's just retail. It just switches immediately after Halloween. It switches over to that, but I just was not ready for it for whatever reason. I mean, obviously I'm still living the spooky vibes, so I was not even thinking about that. Didn't have my headphones or anything, which I normally do if I have to go out to retail. They had a ton of coffee mugs. I didn't really go and look through that because honestly, I got a lot of coffee mugs this Halloween home decor season. So I didn't really look through that, but they had a ton of them. It's a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas ones that I would probably go back and get. But there were a couple of things that I couldn't pass up. Charcuterie platter. I mean, it's a cutting board, but charcuterie platter. That's what I use it for. That's my all time favorite meal ever. And especially that it is a tombstone. Finally got the Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't really know what it is. Uh, maybe to hold cookies, a container like that, but I am gonna use it to put my coffee beans in. And Nightmare Before Christmas is just honestly the perfect decor for this time of year, in my opinion, because I have some out already, but like this, there's little bits, like you have this side, 
and it just looks nightmare before Christmas, spooky Halloween, and then switch it to this side, and now there's a little bit of a snowflake. We're getting festive, you know? And then I think the other side is just the same. Yeah, Jack and Sally all together there. Because I'm gonna continue my Halloween horror movie fest, some bat slippers. And they're actually the ones that are really nice. They have like a hard bottom to them, squishy stuff on the inside of it too, which is fantastic. Bought these all season, but I did not ever see one that was in my size. They were all just a little bit too small. So, and there was a ton of these, like I think there was six or seven. So it was just meant to be. I just had to wait a little bit longer to grab them. Super random, but I happened to look in the makeup section and they had this really cool makeup blenders and it comes with this case that you can put them in. I have like one container for one beauty blender and I use these every single day. So it's kind of nice that there's like a little spot for all of them. Plus it was a little spooky, I don't know, it just says makeup blenders, but it is Halloween edition. So yeah, absolutely had to grab that. One final soap dispenser. And this is honestly just in case I did not get enough or like stock up on the Bath and Body Works soap. I've already gone through like three or four of them. So I don't think that I did get enough. And this is a reusable one. I don't even know what's in here. Honestly, I just liked the black and orange. That's what I want in my kitchen for this season. So we're just gonna keep rolling with that. Spooky orange hand wash. I don't really know what that means. Like, is it orange scented? Oh yeah, it's like citrusy. So perfect. I did go into Starbucks to grab a coffee real quick, an almond latte, which is Oh Jesus, I spill it everywhere. That's all it is, just a plain latte with almond milk. They did have the pumpkin spice tea. They actually had quite a bit of it left too. So I don't know if that bodes well for like, is this good? Did everybody like it? And they just had a ton of it left over. It was an entire shelf full of this stuff. It is an herbal tea with pumpkin and spices. I love the container too. I already did open it because I wanted to smell it. It smells so freaking good too, but it comes in these cute little tea bags that you can toss in and there are 30 of them, which is fantastic. Stopped at one more Marshalls on the way home. I'm really glad that I did. I almost passed it up because I was like, eh, this one's a little too close. I just went to one. No, so glad that I did. Spooky oil diffuser. I love anything that makes my house smell nice, warm, cozy, pumpkin infused, apple cider, all of that goodness. And it comes with a cinnamon essential oil in it. Just plain cinnamon. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. No, it's still good. Still good. It's not super intense, overpowering, but again, I am gonna blend that with other ones. Here is what this looks like. Freaking adorable. Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, do you just pop off? There we go, yeah. Pop off, add the water in there. It tells you exactly like, hey, don't go over there. And then add the drops in there. I put quite a bit into mine too. I like, I want it to smell like pumpkin spice in here. So I do quite a bit. Lastly, I stopped at Target. Did have a couple of, I think these are cake tears. That's what you're actually supposed to use them for. But I like to use them to hold either my coffee bags or coffee mugs. Also, when I cake up yarn and maybe I don't use all of it or I'm not ready to use it yet, I'll stack them up here. I have one back here, you can kind of see, but that one actually just has hanks on. But I did use quite a bit of hand dyed yarn this month and a lot of them have either a quarter to almost a half of a hank left and I don't want to put them away. So I figured this would be perfect for displaying. So I got one of these, then also this one. I feel like this one is probably going to be better for cakes because it's like really, really tiny in between there. Mugs, not so much. And it has a little bird on the top of it. I wanted to show my entire costume close up because a lot of times when I'm in my live, I'm sitting down also. You can't see really my skirt so well, anything like that. So we're gonna go through it. First up, let's just start with the skirt. I am most impressed with this. The yarn that I used is Muse 2320's tweed yarn. I'll have to look at the actual tag of what that color is. I don't remember the colorway, but it's gorgeous. Not only that, but it is so cozy, and I feel like it was spot on colors. 
for Coraline's skirt, like it really was. Next up I have the rain jacket, and this one was using loops and threads. I had a ton of this yarn from, I don't really know what I was doing with it. Honestly don't remember what color it is, but it was perfect. Like the brightness of the Coraline, and we have the hood and everything freaking love it. I used a moss stitch for both of these. I really wanted the jacket to be super stiff, like incredibly stiff, reminiscent of a rain jacket. So any other stitch I felt like would just have too much give. I went through probably six or seven different tries with this jacket. I did a single crochet. I did a couple of like, I did a lemon stitch. I did a bunch of different things just to play around with it. And the moss stitch is the one I like the best. And the hood on this. Like, yeah, I didn't really know <laughs> really what I was doing when I was making the hood. I just pulled apart one of my favorite hoodies and kind of like reconstructed from that. So again, this was all totally freestyle. I didn't write anything down. And that's half of the fun for me too, is just rolling, just being creative, knowing that it's probably one of a kind. Like I can make this again and I totally will because I do love the hood on it, but it won't be the same. Like it will never be exactly the same. And that is totally fine with me. I used the zigzag stitch to seam everything together. And it's my favorite way to assemble a cardigan so it just worked together. Obviously I had to make a Coraline mini me doll and here we have it. It's super creepy, super spooky. We have the impeccable yarn. I used the same as my jacket. I used a single crochet for this and then for the actual hoodie I did half double crochet I think. No, double crochet and it does actually work. You can like kind of squish your head in there. The body of it I used the Whims Moreno from Furl's Yarn and that's because it is a Z twist yarn. And I just feel like I enjoy that so much more when I'm making stuffies and dolls. I'm using such a small hook already that I end up getting it snagged on yarn quite often. And that's like 90% of my frustration when I make dolls or plushies. I didn't get it snagged at all. And I just was able to power through it. The actual doll portion of it, I did in one evening. I went through many though. We have many random bits and pieces of the Coraline doll all over the yarn dungeon right now because it was, again, all freestyled. I didn't write anything down again. I just kind of went into it and I was like, okay, we're gonna make a doll and go. <laughs> like, I know there are a ton of patterns out there and I did purchase patterns from other makers that have made Coraline dolls. And for whatever reason, I just got into it and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go. Like, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna create my own version of it. It worked out pretty well. I love how it's a little bit creepy. Like it's a lot more stretched out than the Coraline doll. Like the proportions are just like totally off. And I love that about it. It looks like a Coraline doll, but it has a little bit of my own spin on it. And of course I had to make a Cocoa Beetle. Cocoa Beetle from Zanzibar. I will be making a lot more of these too. Happy hollow weekend. I'm gonna be heading into Three Kittens Needle Art. It is a local yarn shop that I have not been into yet. So I thought how free perfect spend the weekend yarn shopping I did actually look on their site a little bit there is a couple of skeins that I desperately want to get my hands on they are called like pumpkin there's one that looks like pumpkin with also the top of a pumpkin so burnt orange and green I don't know I'm sure we'll find a bunch of other fun stuff in there let's go get some yarn
the bag that I had there at one time was yarn in here, but I have since used it. I saved the tag because I got started in the car when we were going on our way to get some pumpkins. I started a cowl and I just couldn't stop. And this morning I finished it. Just a quick bubble stitch work cowl. This one is called, I think just pumpkin. It was on sale and I didn't know what that meant, but it means that they're not gonna have it in their shop anymore. Color 58, okay, but I am almost 100% sure that this was called pumpkin. I'm hoping that it is on their site because they only had a couple of these balls of yarn left, but oh man, I would, love a cardigan in this. It's super light because it's called ultra light Moreno. And that is the tag. Incredibly lightweight, perfect for a cardigan. Since I only grabbed two, obviously there was not enough to make a cardigan, but I want to super badly. There is 120 yards in here and it suggests using what does it use? Because I already worked it up. Oh, it suggests using eight millimeter crochet hook and that's exactly what I did. I'd brought along some of my crochet hooks and I happened to have the eight millimeter in the Sienna, which is the burnt pumpkin color from Furls. I happen to have that with me just in case I found some chunky yarn because this is what I was going for. Like this was the main thing that I wanted for the shop and I had a feeling that I wanted to like start it right that second which I did, and here we are, it's finished. I would love a matching pair of fingerless mitts, even using like this bubble stitch. When you went up to the counter, they had a ton of stuff. Notions, pins, like all the things up there and little tiny like hanks and skeins of yarn. So this one is a stitch marker tin. It's the largest that they had, and the name of it was Sassy Sheep. So clearly I had to get that. So these are tins. There's nothing inside them. Oh, geez, as I throw that in my face. It's meant for stitch markers, but if you have like a stitch counter, Ouija stitch marker, or my planchette stitch marker, what else do we have? I actually have some needles. Let's see if that fits. Ooh, I'm gonna be surprised and impressed. Oh, it does. Okay, so you can fit a lot in here. Fantastic impulse buy. It was such a freaking cute shop. Like 100% will absolutely be going back. It was also super fun because there was a trigger treat event going on. So pretty much everybody was in costume. I wasn't standing out as Chucky by myself going to the yarn shops, which is totally fine. I was 100% fine with that with the first shop that I went to and we'd do it again. Like it's, 
it's Halloween weekend. I had to be dressed up. But here it was, it was just extra fun because everyone else was into the Halloween spirit. But I ended up grabbing two just to sample for this weekend if I have time because they were super, super Halloween themed color. And this one is called Embers. Pumpkin-y type of colors with a little bit of espresso blended in there, a cowl and a matching beanie with this. They are, let's see, Trilogy Yarns. That's the name of it. Really, I did not look too closely. I just grabbed whatever I wanted. I was just like so Halloween oriented. I was like, anything that looks like Halloween colors, I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna try that today, and then I'll come back for other ones that I want later. Not only do they have an area to crochet and knit in, but they also have events and crochet alongs or knit alongs that are happening. So something in the future that I'll look forward to. 80% superwash merino and 10% cashmere. I did not even look at that. And now I'm even more excited. The last one that I got is called Cats Got My Tongue from the same brand. Obviously, I was loving that. There was a lot of different, like not one brand was in one area. They kind of went by colors, they went by weight, which I really enjoyed. So you could kind of see all of the brands everywhere in all of the weights that they carried. We have the witchy purple. It looks almost hocus pocus to me. Oh, are they both the same weights? DK weight and also DK weight, yes. The last place that I stopped at was called Yarn Tales. Juniper Moon, and look at the freaking cute tag on that. Adorable. I have tried this yarn a long time ago, like three years, I wanna say. Um, I got some stuff for, they have like a dishcloth line, and I made a ton of dishcloths, a ton of scrubbies with it, um, and then after that I kind of just forgot about it. So I'm glad that I found this to make more. So this one, are they the same? Neve and Neve, yes, they just have different tags, but they are the exact same line, black and red, and I was thinking of probably doing a cowl. Honestly, yeah, probably a cowl. 100% cotton. It suggests using a 6.5 to a 9 millimeter crochet hook. So that is, yeah, we got some bulky cotton yarn here. There is no name for the color. It just says color 21 and then lot number 15666. Like how sometimes places have just the color number on here, but if you go to their site, there'll be color. I don't know, maybe if I went to their site, but either way, in store, they did not have it there. So these two, and then I got one last one because I was just intrigued. Like I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but I just wanna try it out because the name of it is called Mama's Margaritas. If nothing less, I got a nice little laugh out of it. So I thought it'd be fun to work up. Again, this is 100% organic cotton. 40% recycled cotton, okay? And it's a bulky yarn. I mean, you could probably tell that right away. Bulky yard, 200 grams and 200 yards. It is very, very soft too. And once again, lightweight. Help me out because I have literally no idea what I want to make this into. I was thinking a cowl, but I already have the pumpkin cowl and then I was gonna make these two into cowls and 
than this and this. That's a lot of cowls. I mean, I'm gonna have a nice stockpile of them. So if I need to gift or anything like that, I will have that right on hand. This is another brand of yarn that I have never tried, so I'm excited to get into it. All right, girls, that is it for me today. I hope that you had a fantastic time hanging out with me here in the Yarn Dungeon. If you did and you love these types of videos, don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe. Join the Ghoul Squad. This is the best time to join because, like I said, we have just started or restarted the countdown for Halloween of 2023 season. This way, you're here in the Yarn Dungeon at the beginning and you're gonna get all of the amazing Halloween goodness coming your way for an entire year. But for today, that is it. So have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.